This video is going to help teenagers and college students like myself come up with great ideas for side hustles, many of which can be done online from the comfort of your own home. Money is the one thing that most of us can agree we want more of, but sometimes there's limitations on how you can do that. For instance, the typical work week in the United States is 40 hours per week. Any time you spend working at the same job after this amount of time is considered overtime. While this is good for you because you're likely getting paid more, your employer certainly doesn't want to pay overtime when they can pay a different employee to do the same work for the regular wage. In fact, in some instances, employers may actually bar you from working overtime even if you wanted to. This is the great thing about side hustles. Since a lot of them tend to be self-directed, the amount of time that you put into them, and in correlation the amount of money you can make doing them, it's really up to you. Personally, I am engaged in various different side hustles in order for me to supplement my part-time pay, and I use this money to invest. Beyond the side hustles I have done or am currently doing myself, we will also discuss other ideas of making money that you can get started doing right now. First, I want to introduce a key theme that is going to run through a lot of the different ideas we'll talk about today. And that is building out an online presence and fleshing out your personal brand. As the saying goes, your network is your net worth, meaning that the more people you know and the more connections you make, the more opportunities will likely come from these relationships. And these relationships will be the key to your side hustles, whether that's finding individuals that you can work with gig after gig, or by finding an audience that you can sell your product or services to online. And that's where your online presence and personal branding will come in. If you want to be a freelance writer, for instance, it will be easier for you to sell your services to an audience that knows number one, you're a writer and number two, you're a good one. You can establish this identity online by consistently posting content that reflects this idea. You want the information that can be found about you to have a consistent theme and message about what it is you're trying to get across to your target audience. That will be your personal brand. And it essentially encapsulates your talents, demonstrates who you are, and showcases the value that you can provide with your unique attributes. Building up an online presence by creating a consistent personal brand which highlights the talents you'd like to utilize in your side hustles will help you discover and connect with an audience that is interested in or needs your talents. This will help you find customers and make sales. Also, building up a good personal brand is just good advice. It is becoming ever increasingly important in the professional world, and it can really help you differentiate yourself from your competition. A fast track to getting started will be to create a LinkedIn account, to design a logo for your personal brand, and to make a website which showcases your talents or your artistic portfolio. The topic of personal branding will get its own video in the future, so make sure to like the video if you're enjoying it, and subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when new videos are released every Friday. They'll help you live a life you love through personal finance and self-improvement. Now, my main side hustle is reselling on eBay. You can also resell on various other platforms like like Amazon or Depop. Reselling will involve a slight amount of physical work though, because you're going to need to pack and ship your orders. However, most of this work can be done from the comfort of your own home, especially taking pictures and listing, which can be done pretty easily on just your smartphone or computer. While this is not sustainable in the long run since you're eventually going to run out of things you own, reselling on eBay or another site is a good side hustle to earn some cash while also getting rid of some things you don't want. Eventually, you can also get to sourcing, which is finding new things to resell, such as at flea markets, garage sales, or on Facebook Marketplace. The tricky part about reselling will be shipping. So you can check out a video I did about my experience with eBay by clicking the card in the corner, or you can follow my TikTok by clicking the link in the description below to follow my daily adventures with reselling. If you prefer to make things and sell them rather than reselling existing products, there's crafty side hustle platforms like Etsy or Shopify. Your imagination is really going to be the only limiting factor in terms of what you can make and sell on those platforms. While I've never sold crafts myself, I've come up with some fun idea for decorations and even made a few myself, which could be sold on a crafty storefront. You can take the opportunity to have the things you make be reflective of your personal brand as well. Next, there's monetizing your portfolio. Whether you're into writing, photography, or any other artistic media, you can make money off of your existing work. Let's take photography, for instance. You can set up a portfolio of your best pictures and sell physical photos or printed canvases through print-on-demand services. Going back to your online presence and personal branding, these provide you with the opportunity to create and share your portfolio of work such that potential customers can see what to expect from you. With the photography example, this may be simply setting up a secondary Instagram account, which will showcase your photos to people beyond your existing followers. Beside your existing portfolio, you can also offer your creative services on a freelance basis. Back with the photography example, you can set up that Instagram page or a 
website so that people can get in contact with you to book photo shoots. Offering to do graduation or any other similar event photos for your friends for a fee will be a good way to get started. Personally, I do a bit of freelance writing in terms of creating articles which research topic, provide content for a recent event, or promote search engine optimization keyword tagging for a business's page. You can sell your freelance creative services on platforms like Five or simply just on your own social media pages. Also with writing and creative work, let's talk about blogging. Blogging can help you sharpen your writing and search engine optimization skills over time. While blogging likely won't make you cash right Right away, if you set it up correctly and consistently deliver valuable content in a defined niche, blogging offers the opportunity to eventually earn passive income off of your old content once it starts getting views. The blog can also be an opportunity for you to build out your personal brand and showcase a portfolio of your writing samples for anyone interested in hiring you for other freelance writing projects. Next, let's talk about micro internships and small project work. Sometimes businesses need just a small amount of work done, so hiring a full-time intern to do this kind of project would be cost ineffective. Businesses can list postings for micro internships, which are essentially just short term internships which last only for the length of that project. Popular platforms to find micro internships include Parker Dewey and Amazon Mechanical Turk Marketplace. For more small project work, these will essentially be the kind of opportunities you have to go out there and find. To give an example, I am well versed in Microsoft Office, so I have utilized my network to discover opportunities in terms of creating data visualizations and dashboards, as well as creating and formatting technical documents in Word for various small businesses and other consulting firms. A good place to start will be to reach out to your local small businesses and see if they may need any help with short-term projects. Some business owners may also not be very tech savvy, so this will provide you the opportunity to do that technical work for the business owner as a side hustle. Furthermore, if you're interested in social media or marketing, many local small businesses have very little or no presence on social media. You can offer to sell your services as a social media manager, creating and posting content for the business. This will get you great professional experience and it will help you in building your personal brand as you you start to understand the importance of creating consistent messaging and content for the business that you're working with. Currently, you can actually do all of this work from home with just a Zoom account and an internet connection. Next, although these can't be done online, it wouldn't be a side hustle video if I didn't mention your typical gig economy jobs like driving for Uber or Lyft or delivering groceries for Uber Eats or Postmates, as well as driving or dropping things off for the various other ride share and delivery platforms. These may not be viable options though, depending on your age, because you'll need a car and a license. Although food delivery can technically be done by bicycle. For those in school, another simple option might just be tutoring. I've been paid to tutor and perform other peer mentoring services, and I have found the jobs pretty fulfilling. While tutoring those in a similar grade may be challenging, you can always choose to tutor younger classes. Now, working with children in an official capacity may require a background check or a license depending on your state, so please do the appropriate research. Private tutoring can be another option, especially if you did well on a tough subject in school like chemistry or physics. Nowadays, you can even tutor just over Zoom or Skype, making the process even easier for you. In a similar vein, and again, not possible to do online, you have your local neighborhood odd jobs like babysitting, mowing lawns, walking dogs, and cleaning houses. While these can be labor intensive, they are good opportunities to bond with your neighbors and a good opportunity for you to make cash if you're on the younger side or if you haven't yet had the chance to develop a technical skill or pursue a creative endeavor for freelance projects. These types of odd jobs will help you understand responsibility, build up a good local reputation, and get you to start developing your networking skills early by having to reach out to friends, neighbors, or local small business owners whom you can offer your services to. Coming from a guy who works multiple and has worked other side hustles in the past, I'd like to offer you some advice. First, your main gig is going to have to come first. Whether this is school or a main full or part-time job, your primary gig should either be the thing that increases your earnings potential in the future or is earning you your primary income now. Next, you need to be good with managing your time. Since I have a couple things that I do, I have to be good with managing them all together so that the work related to one side hustle doesn't pile up and prevent me from working on my others. You'll need to set some sort of a goal or a limit on each side hustle, whether that's the amount of hours you spend working on it or the amount of listings you create, it's really up to you. But so long as it's a tangible, I achieve this type goal, you'll know you'll be able to move on and work on your other things once you've accomplished it that day. Next, you need to keep track of how much money you make doing each side hustle and how much time you're putting into each. That way, you'll be able to calculate your rough hourly rate and thus how valuable the work you're performing is. Once you know your hourly rate and value, this will help you judge new opportunities based on how much they pay. Additionally, if you work multiple side hustles, this can help you in judging which may be the more lucrative option to pursue full time. Next, you're going to have to manage your expectations. The people you see online tend to only show the good aspects about what it is that they do. And since they're already successful or popular, your perception about what to expect when you're getting started with your side hustle can be a little tainted by their success. 
there's a lot of competition out there. And if you're young, a lot of people with more experience than you. So long as you're providing real value with whatever it is that you do, you should start to see the money and success. Given enough time, especially as you gain experience and build up your artistic or project portfolio. One of the best things you can do is to align your side hustles to your passions. If you love making music, for example, getting paid to create songs, whether that's from streaming royalties or by working on music for other people, means that you'll be getting paid to do what you love. This is going to help with the final tip, avoiding burnout. Burnout can be all too common for people working side hustles, let alone multiple side hustles. You'll need to know that it's okay to simply say no to projects, especially if you've got a lot on your plate already. Similarly, it's okay to not be working all the time. Now that you have a side hustle or multiple side hustles and income coming in, you'll need to know how to manage your money. Click the video on the card to watch a video about personal finance advice that everybody needs to know. Like the video if you enjoyed one of the ideas. Comment below with what side hustle you'll be starting up soon. Subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when new videos come out every Friday. Social media links, including my eBay side hustle TikTok, will be in the description below. Click the video on screen to watch another that you're going to enjoy. And please add some music, a side hustle, or whatever else it is that you love to your day. Add some, add some music, just add some music. Uh, uh, uh.